Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to talk about callback handlers in JSX, uh, which in itself, the title in itself might be not very revealing, uh, but what this section is about is how to call on a different function from a child component, like how it, like something happens in the child component and then calls on a function on within the parent. That's all it is. So, but before we actually implement the function, let's do something else. If you look at this code, you'll see there's an app component and you'll see there's a list component. And when, when, you, when you look at our page, you'll see this search box right here. You'll see the list. And, um, and I don't know if you realize this, but we could also create another component called search because we have you know, one component's in charge of showing the, the stories and one uh, one component is the, the, the parent component, the root component, the app component, which holds everything. But then also we have the search part right here that I feel like can be um, in, can be extracted and created uh, or made into a component in itself, right? So let's do that. Let's create a search component. And uh, so the way we're going to do it is... Uh, let me just pull up my notes. We're going to create, just like with app and list, nothing different there. Let's say it doesn't take in props. And let's say uh, it will use state, the same state, in fact, as that we used in uh, app. This one right here, so I'm just going to copy that. And actually paste it right there right so search so far is a simple component uh, doesn't take in props does use state and it will uh, have a handle change I'm gonna copy that from app uh, components and it's gonna have a handle change function that will update the state with whatever the change is and finally, it's going to return all the stuff related to the search. Okay. And that we can also get from app. Which part is that? Well, it would be, let's say it's, uh, uh, let me get rid of, I had this extra search for part right here. Let me get rid of that because we had one. Actually, no, I'm going to keep that one I'm gonna get rid of this searching for part okay so which part contains to the search well it would be this part right here right so I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna put it in the search component so down here so I'm getting it from the app component putting it in the search component and this next part is very important that you understand this everything in jsx has to have has to uh, everything that you return in jsx format has to come with some sort of root element so you cannot have two siblings elements without a root so let's put uh, wrap it around a diff okay cool um is that it I think we just created our search component. So what's left to do? Well, now we just got to replace this part where the search happens with the search component, right? Okay, uh, anything else? I think that's it. So this should now do the same thing that it did before. Uh, let me get rid of the state and app. I'm going to keep this for now, this handle change, you know, because we're going to do something with it here in a minute. And that's it. Uh, oh, um, one more thing. I think we're going to move this as well, the part where we display whatever we type into the input box. So let's do that. Let me 
let me move that into search okay cool and now we'll get rid of this here okay i hope i didn't confuse you guys but we didn't really do anything too fancy all we did is move all the search related stuff to a search component that's all we did okay let's see if we did it right uh, let me refresh no error messages that's good and if i type in something and i keep using the word success because that's what we're aiming for so uh searching for success um yeah that's it and then um all right so that's that's it all we did was move out uh create a, another, a new component move out the stuff from app component to search component the relevant parts and that's it okay cool um what else uh well now comes you know the actual the part of what the point of the section is which is that we want to be able to call on something in app.js within search uh you know well not uh, app component uh, that is it's not a js file yet uh we want to run something in app component within whenever something happens in search. So every time there's this change in search, we want to call on the parent. And how do we do that? Well, let me show you. So in the so first of all, I think we need to take in a we got we got to take in props in the child component. Then we're gonna call on props that and uh let's say on we're gonna this ha, this doesn't exist yet so don't let this confuse you we're gonna forward at the event so we're calling on i'm kind of going backwards here where in the child component component i'm calling on the parent before even doing anything in the parent yet so this is all happening in the child we're calling on something that comes in from the parent using props something called on search so then in the parent when we call on search, well, we got to provide that prop, right? So how, what, what is this attribute going to be called? What is this prop going to be called? Well, some of you already guessed it. It's on search. And what do we want to call? Well, how about this handle search right here that I left in there uh, for this purpose? And then finally, what do we want to happen? Well, let's just console log it. So event.target that value okay uh did i miss anything uh let's see i think that's it i don't know if i missed anything so the best way to find out is to just test it what do, what do we expect to happen well as we type in this part should still behave the same way each letter gets displayed right here searching for but in addition to that we should see something in the console right let me refresh the page and success again there it is uh, now we see it here and in the console but the console remember that's an app in the app component not in the search component this is in the search component all right cool i hope this helps uh i cannot stress this enough please do subscribe uh i'm i'm this is what I do this for. I want to build my base, and I would love it if you follow me. Uh, I love to I love to learn with you um, as I teach, and you know, and subscribing to my channel would make that possible. All right, guys, take care. Bye.